Hey developers, so in this video we're going to start looking at the HTML and CSS of the code editor. So before we get started, I just want to show you the structure of what we're going to create. And as you can see, we're going to have um, an editor wrapper, like a wrapper for everything. And we're going to have to a body here which will contain the actual code editor. And a footer here, this whole footer right here which will contain a left and right. So the left will have the button to run and reset like options. And the right will have the actual console uh, where the output will be displayed. So that is the basic setup that I wanna create in this video. So let's jump straight into it. So inside the code editor now, let's get started with the HTML structure. And we're gonna get started with an overall div of the, with a class of editor. And inside that, we're going to need a wrapper that we talked about in the beginning. So we're gonna do dot editor, double underscore wrapper. And for these videos, I'm using the BEM methodology. So just to keep that in mind. Now inside this wrapper class, we're gonna have the two, the body and the footer. So we're gonna make a div with the class of editor, double underscore body copy this down and do change this to have the footer as a class name. So now inside the body, pretty simple. All we're going to have is a div with the class of editor double underscore code. So this is just for the, this is where the uh, ace editor will lie inside this div. Now inside the footer, we're going to have that left and that right. So for the left, we're going to do editor double underscore footer and dash dash the left. I'm going to copy this down and do the same thing, but change left to right. Now inside the left, we're going to have the two buttons, the run and the reset. So now I'm going to create a button with the class of editor double underscore button and another class of editor double underscore run and I'm going to copy this down and change the run to reset also going to give us some text here of run with an angle bracket and a reset with an angle uh, bracket here sign right here now with that there inside the right which is going to lie and the console for where the output is gonna appear. All we need here is going to have a div of editor double underscore console. And inside this console, we're going to have an unordered list, which will be our, our list of logs that come out. So I'm gonna make an unordered list, give it a class name of uh, editor double underscore console, and give it dash logs so that should do it for the HTML structure now we can move on to doing the CSS installing everything to make the editor appear nicer so now I've opened up a live server on the right so we can see the changes that we make with the CSS so let's open up the editor dash styles.css file so I'm going to add some uh, pasted code here, which is some variables and reset styles. Now in the variables, we're going to have a background color for the wrapper, which will be a light gray and a border color to match the MDN code editor uh, color there. So the reset styles is just having a padding margin reset to zero. And we're also going to have a box sizing of border box. And the HTML and body will have a height and width of 100%. So let's get started with the main editor class. I'm going to copy this in, but essentially what this is doing is positioning everything, positioning it in the center, as you can see right here. Now, after this, we want to target the, the wrapper, which is the editor double underscore wrapper. And for this, I'm just going to make this a width of 50% and a height 
of 70% for now. And I'm also going to do the same thing and uh, position this in the center with flex. So just copy this above and paste it right here. Doing the same thing as before. So now we could also have a background color for this, which would be the variable that we set at the top. So we use a var and use the editor-bg color. So that will give us the color right here of the wrapper. And another thing we can do is we'll add, we'll add a padding of 2m. Uh, we'll have a border radius of say 3 pixels. And we're also going to have a border of 1 pixel solid and a triple C color, which will just be a kind of gray color. So after the wrapper, we're going to target the editor double underscore body. And I want to give this a flex of 1. Essentially so the body can take up as much space as it can. Now, after that we're going to move on to doing the editor, the footer. So we'll target the uh, editor double underscore footer right here. So now with this, we're going to display this as flex. Just like that. So with that displayed as flex, we can have um, the left and the right. So now if we target the dot editor uh, underscore underscore footer dash dash left. And we can also do the same thing for the right if we copy this. And let's change this to a right. Now for the left one, we're going to have a display of flex. And we're also going to do a flex direction of column to align, uh, give the flow of everything in a vertical flow. And now for the right one, we're going to have a flex of one again. And we're also going to have a margin left of 10 pixels. Get this one up here, and this down here. And an, an overflow of hidden. So this shouldn't be in the center. Uh, let me have a look and see what's wrong. Right, so in the wrapper, we don't need to have um, the content aligned in the center. So just removing this, and this is what we want down here. So continuing on now, we can um, next target the console right here. Actually, let's do the buttons first. To get that out of the way, we can do the dot editor double underscore button. And we're going to give this a border of 0. Have some padding on this, let's say 0.5M. And a background of a white color. So we're going to do background color, let's just do a white, which will be a triple F. And give it a border of 2 pixels solid and a triple 3 to match the MDN code editor button. We'll give this a margin top of 1M to space it out. And we'll also give this a width of 100 pixels and a cursor of pointer. So there is our buttons all done. Now, next thing we want to do is the console right here, which should be on the right side. So we'll do the editor uh, double underscore console. And first thing first, we're going to make a background color of white. So same as above, triple F and give this the width of 100%. And we'll also need a height, so we'll give this a height of 130 pixels, just like that. Now to make this align properly, I'm just gonna give this a margin top of uh, 0.9M. So that will be aligned now. And I'm also gonna give this a border of one pixel solid Give it a var and use the border color. So editor that border blue color right there. And I'm going to give this an overflow um, of auto so you can scroll if the console goes over. So the next thing we need to do now as well 
Um, just so to make it a bit more clearer here, I'm going to do the styles for the code editor, the div that we defined inside uh, right here. So I'm going to target the editor double underscore code. And I'm going to copy this code in because this is some code that is required for ACE before we initialize it in the JavaScripts. So if I just paste this in now, as you can see, we now have a border here with the div and the code editor will be inside here. So now this code is just required um, for ACE, it's how it works. So ACE must have the height and the width set. And it also has to have the positioning set properly. So also I'm going to give this a width here as well. Now with that done, uh, the overall structure is complete. There will be some other CSS styles we have to add uh, once we get the code editor running with, where we get the functionality correct enough to um, output things in the console, which will style some more things here later on. So as a way to end this video, let's get the code editor up and running in here. So if you open up the editor.js file, so I'm going to just find it here, editor.js. And all we need to do is one line of code right here to, to open up, um, well, to assign the ace editor, initialize it. So what we, we can do here is we can do let our code editor is going to be equal to ace.edit and we should have ace because we required it in a script tag in our HTML at the bottom right here. So going back now, what this takes in is the actually takes in an ID which I just remember we need to do. So inside here, we're going to add an ID of let's say editor code. And now we can do the same thing, editor code. And this will essentially get the element and ace will initialize it uh, in that div. Now you can see here that the code editor has appeared and we can start typing some things. Say console log. But of course we haven't set up the rest of ace so we'll need to do that in the next video where we start working with ACE and start looking at the console. So that's all for this video. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And in the next video, we'll start looking at more of what ACE can do and give take a quick look at the console and what we can do there as well. So stay tuned till then, and I'll see you in the next one.